everybody. Uh, happy Veterans Day. Uh, big thank you to all of our service men and women, um, all of our veterans. Um, super appreciate it. My father is a veteran. Um, our son's still active. Um, my husband's a veteran. My father-in-law's a veteran. All the people. Uh, so, to all the veterans in your life and all the veterans out there, happy Veterans Day. Um, just popping on real quick and sealing the um, snowman I did the last couple days. I've been working on it. Um, so, I don't know if you guys wax, wax your pieces. This one's going to be inside. I'm not going to put it outside. Um, it could go, hi Christy, it could go outside. I did seal the outside with banana peel, which is a polyacrylic sealer. So it definitely could be an outside piece, but um, I'm going to keep it inside. So I'm going to seal the back side with uh, a wax. Happy Veterans Day to you. Thank you. Um, and to you. <laughs> so I didn't know if you guys are familiar with waxing or not. Um, it's a great way to seal pieces um, that are not going to be for outdoor use, that are not going to be, I wouldn't seal something that was going to be the, like the top of a shelf or something where you're going to set things on all the time, but for decorative pieces that aren't going to get a lot of wear and tear. Nobody's going to be dragging things across this or setting things on this just to protect it. Um, and actually with the, with the chalk paint I use, it doesn't even need that, but it will give it a little more sheen. It'll make these colors pop. Um, thank you, Christy. So that's why I'm doing it. It's completely unnecessary. It's a personal choice. But for those of you that have not waxed anything, I thought you might enjoy it. And for those of you that do wax, you know, be feel free, excuse my craft mess, feel free to share any of your waxing tips. I'm always, always looking to learn new things. Let me see if I can move some lighting over here for you guys. You can see what's going down. And waxing is really quick and really easy. Um, I am using, <coughs> excuse me, I'm using um, Monkey Shine um, that I get from Junk Monkey Paint Company. It is all natural, non-toxic. It's a clear wax finishing polish. So that's what I'm using. There's lots of different waxes on the market. You'll have to kind of figure out what works best for you. I highly, highly recommend, and I'm not an affiliate, although I should be. Need to work on that. Um, Monkey Shine, for any decorative pieces that you're not going to be setting things on, sliding things across, um, anything that's just decorative, wax is the way to go. And I, oh, I do have a cloth. Okay. <clears throat> so. Easy peasy. I did go ahead and lightly sand this outside because I wanted to distress my um, snowflakes a little bit. So again, that's you know totally optional. You don't have to sand it at all, but I did. I didn't um, sand the center, although I could have. It's a little rough in spots, but I, I like I like having a little texture. I love to wax and sometimes make colored waxes. You know, I've never made the colored waxes. I have some milk paint and I could make colored waxes, but I have not tried that. Um, Christy is on, a, her page is a painter's daughter. Um, may, Christy, you should do a tutorial for us on the colored waxes, how to make them and how to use them, because I've only used clear wax. Um, I've used colored glazes. And I've done some whitewashing, but I've ne never made myself a colored wax. So that would be an awesome tutorial. I'd love to see that. So anyways, I think you guys can see in here. Just get a little wax. I um, have this little round brush that my sister got for me. They're, they make uh, brushes for waxing. Although if you don't have one, I'm sure you could just use a regular brush or a rag. I'm going to go in circular motions. And you guys, you can do this on um, wood that's not painted as well. If you have dry wood, if you have some old antique pieces, um, something like that, they will suck this right up. It'll just be like refinishing them. I save empty wax cans to keep them in. Oh, that's a great idea. 
you can see, and I'm going to wipe this back, but I, I just want you to see the, I don't know if you can tell that well in the lighting here, how much it's, you can now, now you can see the blue that I've got in there. You can see I've got some blue and some black in there and some white, where this side is more flat. And you can't see the colors as well. Oh, Christine, you follow her. Yes. Have, all right, so Christine, do you want, do you want Christy on a painter's daughter to do a wax tutorial for us on making our own colored waxes and how to use them? We're going we're gonna to get you into this. <laughs> we're going to make you do it. I got to stand up, you guys. Oh, there we go. So, and like I said, if you go, <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat, I'm sorry. If you go in circular motions, it kind of fills in, all, wood is porous and the paint is porous as well, so it kind of fills in, it fills in everything and really just seals the piece down and um, protects it. It forms a resist, um, so, you know, just to give it one more layer, it doesn't really need it um, per se for the, because I use that chalk paint, but I just like the way it makes the colors pop. And especially if you do a light sanding afterwards to smooth anything out, to distress it, to get rid of any imperfections, um, that kind of mats or dulls down the color even more. And if you wax it, and again, I'm going to wipe this back. I'm just showing you. You can see right there pretty good, I think, in that top one, how it shows that blue through it and how down here it's not really showing it. I have never waxed just getting into painting. Well, Christine, get yourself some wax for decorative pieces. If you do, if you paint a picture frame, if you paint, um, well, this is a cabinet door, but I mean, even just a, a regular picture frame, just throw some paint on it to make it match your household decor. And then you put a wax on it. It just really pops it up really nice and I was saying earlier you can do it on any of your um, naked wood <laughs> anything that's not painted um, you can totally wax that wax doesn't last forever um, you're probably gonna have to redo it in a year or two or something if it starts looking kinda dull but as you can see it only takes seconds so it's not it's not something that takes a lot of time and this little this little guy will last you ages and ages and ages. So um, it really works out to be an, an inexpensive way to protect your pieces and really pop them up. I'm going to go ahead and do the outside of this. And let me get over here so you guys can see. And I'm really just wiping it back with a soft cloth, picking up that extra wax that's not absorbed in. Um, Really, really easy. And I just feel it. If it feels wet and sticky, if it feels like there's a lot of, it should feel dry. It should feel dry to the touch. Because the wax that you're leaving behind is what is being absorbed or soaked into your piece. You don't, you don't need, a, you don't want a bunch of wax laying on top unnecessarily. So if it feels dry, then you're good. That's that's it. I'm going to go ahead and do the middle too. I just want to show you guys. See how it's got that sheen on there now? I don't know if my lights are messing with it in the in the thing or not. All right, let's do Mr. Snowman. Let me just do, let me do half of them so you can see, hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. But by going circular, it kind of just fills all the pores in the wood. Got a little, and, and nothing will stick, you can just pull something. Now it's not like when you do polyurethane and you put your fingers in it, you get a, get a mark. I don't know why my brush decided to shed all of a sudden, I should have cleaned it first. You guys have brushes that shed. If you do this before you use them, and this wax is non-toxic, safe. It's not gonna hurt me any. Um, if you do that before you use them, you won't uh, have brushes shedding all over. 
um, which is good for polyurethane because I wouldn't do this if I had polyurethane, but for wax it's fine. So you can see, I don't know if my lighting is showing it good or not, the bottom is more flat. There you can see where the light hits that wax. It just gives it more of a sheen and it pops up, pops up that paint and protects it. So I suppose if somebody threw something on my wall <laughs> and it landed on my painting or whatever, then I could just wipe it off because it does give you that kind of protection. It's kind of like a, similar to a furniture polish, I guess, but it doesn't smell and it doesn't, doesn't give you that buildup. It just, it nourishes the dryness, the wood or the paint, and it gives that resist to give it some protection. So as you can see how fast that is. Oh good, you can see, okay. I can never tell on the, I use my little phone, you guys. My um, notepad thingy died quite some time ago. So I use my phone and I can never, I can't see that good to tell. And you're not going to ruin it if you leave too much wax on there. I mean, nothing bad's going to happen. But it should feel dry. And that is it. That's all there is to doing waxing. Now, the only wax I have used, so I really don't have a comparison, is the Junk Monkey Monkey Shine Wax. So, um, I don't know if other waxes behave this easily in this well. But, pop it a little bit. You can see what a mess I have in here. I've been working. But just like that, this is protected, ready to go. I'm going to set it out in the living room and enjoy it. Um, and like I said, the back I did do with a polyacrylic sealer for outdoor use. So if I decide next year that I want to actually put this whole piece outside in the weather, Wax is not going to be good enough for out in the weather, um, but it'll have worn down enough. By then, I could hit it with a very light sandpaper and seal it with polyacrylic. But this piece, it's going to live in the house, so um, wax is good. So, anyways, that's my little pro tip for the day, and uh, trying to do. Still trying to. Still trying to work on the name change, you guys. Oh my lord. Facebook and I are not, not speaking right now. I have to wait another week and try again. So bear with me. I'm still here and uh, still learning technology. And um, for those of you that have not seen the post or don't, don't know, there is an auction starting the 14th. Um, my, a bunch of my creative friends and I are doing the auction. So, and it is online. It starts the 14th. It runs for three days. You can't bid until the 14th. Um, and everything is at least 30% below retail. There's some really, really talented ladies on there. So um, if, you haven't, if you haven't signed up to join, it's free to join. No commitment, no nothing. Just uh, join the group, and then you can check it all out and maybe do some Christmas shopping at home. So easy. Easy waxing fun. Oh, you can really see the blue in there now that I have. See, I don't think you could really see in the sides the distressing and the blue I had before. That's why I love wax. All right. Have a great Veterans Day, everybody, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you for joining me. Oh, hi, Janet. Thank you for popping on. All right. Bye, guys.